one year ago, I believe this week, one year ago, God sent a gift to the house that released not only the sound of the Lord, but infectious joy every time we see him. His name is Warren Brown. blessing to this house but God is positioning him doing things in him to be a blessing to nations what is in him is great it is massive and it is big and the devil wanted to try to discourage that just today but the devil is a liar I want you to know that you are on the cusp of a breakthrough. That is why the enemy attacked you, because you are on the cusp of a breakthrough. Your next level is about to be greater than you could ever imagine. Can y'all, can y'all, can y'all? David, can you take a lead key position here? Because I need him to be able to receive this. I need you to be able to receive it. You can come. What the enemy intended to destroy you, God's about to use to bless you to be a source of confirmation for you. You don't even have to try to keep playing. We got you. It's a sign that we got you. That even when you don't feel like you can keep going, we got you. Because you are not alone. God put you in a family. God put you amongst a group of people who love you and support you, both of you. It's not just him. It's not just him, it's both of you. You are not by yourself, you are not alone, and every lie of the enemy against you, in the name of Jesus, we break its power over you right now, in Jesus' name. We speak the encouragement of the Lord, we speak the strength of the Lord, we speak silence to every voice from the past, we speak silence to every negative thing, in Jesus' name, we break its power off of your mind, off of your heart, off of your soul, off of your spirit, in the name of Jesus, would you not only pray, but in a moment, we are about to celebrate. You will not walk alone. You are in the will of God. You are right where God wants you to be. For the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. The steps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. And so now we break its power over you. In Jesus' name, we affirm your position and we affirm your future. In the name of Jesus, be healed, Warren, and be made whole. In the name of Jesus. What he needs from you now is for you to let him know there were times when we were weak, but because of what you released, it allowed us to get through. Would you celebrate the gift now? Would you celebrate? Would you let him hear this more than he hears every line? This is not just celebration. It's an act of warfare. Don't stop, family. Don't stop, family. You are doing an act of warfare. You are in the right place at the right time. You are in the right place at the right time. You are in the right place at the right time.
now this is something that typically the Lord has had me do with pastors around the world but I want to do it for Warren right now at night time the devil likes to speak to people when they're apart from others but I need us to silence those things now I want you to understand there's a, there's a twofold thing here we can, we can counsel, we can do all sorts of things, but there's also a spiritual aspect that we're not going to ignore. Amen. This is what I want. I want both Juan and Imani to, to hear. I want them to hear this from you. I know you don't get to see her often, but she's a blessing. She's a woman of God. She's a woman of strength. She's a woman of character. She's a woman of integrity. And she, she prays for her husband, stands with him, and God has tremendously gifted her. Seriously. She's living sacrificially, but God has significantly gifted her. She has a master's degree. God has significantly gifted her. And I want us to do something for them. I want us to do something for them. The next time the devil tries to whisper into their ear about their effectiveness, I want them to remember the appreciation that you're about to give them. You're about to show both of them that you have a family that loves you and appreciates you and covers you and walks with you and prays for you and loves and appreciates you. So when I count to three, I want you to release a mighty roar of appreciation so that the next time the devil tries to lie to you, this is what you hear. One, two, three. God is healing something right now. God is healing something right now. Receive this. You've been abused before. You're loved now. Receive this. You've been underappreciated before. You're loved now. Receive this. You've been manipulated before, but you're loved now. Receive this. You've been controlled before, but you're loved now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. This is what healthy family looks like. This is what healthy family looks like. Both of you receive it. Receive it. Take it in. Take it in. Y'all don't stop yet. We love you for you. Not for what you do. We love you for you. If you never played another note, we still love you. We love you for you. to give one big invisible hug because a lot of sickness going around so we're not going to celebrate Warren and then give him the flu as a parting gift. 
and Imani, I need y'all to just give a big wrap your arms and say with Warren, when Pharaoh let Moses and the children of Israel go from Egypt, after he gave it a little bit of thought, he changed his mind and went chasing after them. And uh, I think the Lord just wanted to simply answer the question, why, why did that happen today? what Pharaoh didn't know and what the children of Israel didn't know because when they saw Pharaoh and his army, they started to cry and say, Moses, did you bring us into the wilderness to die? What they didn't know was that God was allowing their enemy to attack them one more time because after this last attack, he would demonstrate his power in such a way where they would never ever see them again. And so the Lord just wants you to know this attack happened, but he's about to demonstrate his power in your life in such a way where this story that you're going to emerge with will be written into the story of the Brown family for the rest of the Brown family's legacy and history. He's going to show up in such a way that you're, it's going to make sense to you why it happened in this way. So the Egyptians that you see today, get ready. You're not going to see them anymore. Be blessed.